right, so we got a pretty big rumor to discuss today. And no, it's not a 4chan leak. It's nothing like that. It's from, I don't want to say a more credible source. I mean, I guess more credible than 4chan. But like, there's a lot of people that have discussed or dismissed the credibility of this website. I mean, Giant Freaking Robot has said a lot of things that haven't come true. But they've also said things that have come true. So it's really one of those things where we're going to look at what they're saying and we're going to discuss. But don't take this as confirmed information. Although honestly, it doesn't seem too outrageous given the direction. Sega's been going in. But before we talk about that, I think we need to quickly discuss this Sonic Origins information. It's nothing major. You guys know I made the video before talking about rumors suggesting that Sonic Origins is in development hell. And of course, Azuka said that Origins was supposed to come out before the movie sequel. Well, it says here, according to Sawasaki, that Sega trademarked Sonic Origins in Japan. And this happened on the 23rd of November, or 24th in Japanese time. It says Sega's trademarked Sonic Origins in Japan. The trademark was filed on November 5th, 2021 and has just been published. Sonic Origins was announced in May 2021 as a compilation of the classic titles with no further news until now. And of course, they mentioned the fact that they trademarked Frontiers. The fact that Frontiers got trademarked before Origins, I find very interesting because Origins is supposed to be coming out before Frontiers, right? It's coming out before the movie sequel and Frontiers, well, let's say Frontiers was coming out before April, they would have given us, you know, an actual date window instead of just saying 2022, or they would have given us an official title reveal or, you know, that thing that game usually show gameplay you know so it's a bit weird that they took this long to register the trademark for origins like it makes sense for frontiers because they didn't tell us the name of the game so it's not like some con could just go and register the trademark after the may sonic central but with origins we knew about it for months like we knew that origins was a thing someone could have i guess tried to register that trademark the fact that they'll wait this long when they'd already told us the name of it and everything just seems a bit out of place maybe they really are going through development hell they forgot to trademark the game they were just sitting there crunching it up working on this fucking remaster or remake or whatever it is and some guy in the office is just like wait did we trademark the name oh shit we need to go and do that shit and then they've gone and rushed and trademarked it i don't know but this doesn't make me feel like they are on top of things when it comes to origins okay you could say i'm being skeptical but we just got colors ultimate so i'm fully within my right to be skeptical of another remaster okay we'll see what happens but they did promise us more info this year and we haven't gotten it and if the game awards doesn't have it which i'll be streaming on my non sonic channel link in the description then we know that we're not getting that info this year anyway back to the multimedia news so it says here exclusive sonic live action series in development and then they suck off the franchise and they say it was a surprise when jim carrey movie pulled in 319 million dollars at the box office since that time the franchise has had a few developments and now the studio is ready to make one more a trusted and proven inside source for giant freaking robot has shared that a Sonic live action series is in development. The series is being made for streaming on Paramount Plus. This new Sonic live action series for Paramount Plus is not the same as the animated series previously announced for Netflix, because obviously Sonic Prime is not live action, thankfully. This is definitely a new project in the works. Our source was unable to confirm whether anyone from the Jim Carrey films would be involved. No matter the way they call him the Jim Carrey film. I mean, he did carry the film, but like, still, like, in 2021, the cast and crew worked on the sequel film film said to be oh, don't, don't give us the basic shit that we already know i'm not casual okay this means the people are still working on sonic but it's hard to say whether it'll be connected to the new series judging by the film's popularity it would seem like that's what fans most want to see happen getting the people behind the movie involved in the sonic live action series would be huge yes, yes. for fans it would also give the new series an established cinematic world to play in giving audiences a better idea of what to expect it's hard to say whether Viacom CBS, the company that owns Paramount Plus, is interested in making that kind of investment in their streaming platform. Paramount Plus is still a fairly small streaming service. Investing in the Sonic live action series is a step in the right direction to help grow their offerings, especially if they can get actors like Jim Carrey on board. The Sonic live action series will be the perfect opportunity to expand the cast, including introducing more of Sonic's classic villains. I hope by classic he doesn't mean like classic Sonic. I, mean, I know they're cast casual they say shit like this sonic has been in many iterations over the years including comic books this means there are a lot of established characters the new show could introduce the fact that they think the comic books are gonna make it into this this is some casual shit right here <laughs> uh. Will the series introduce Scourge the Hedgehog in the comics? He's sometimes known as Anti-Sonic or Evil Sonic. 
characters like Grounder could also be, I mean, I would love to see Grounder. Grounder and Scratch were Eggman's or Robotnik's best lackeys. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Boko and Deco came close, but Grounder and Scratch will forever remain the GOATs. Sorry, Meta Era fans, Orbot and Cuba are okay, but they ain't no Grounder and Scratch, okay? <laughs> they, it's as simple as that. Idris Elpa is introducing Knuckles in Sonic 2. It would be interesting if the movie star decided to voice his character for the new live action series as well. Of course, the biggest win from the live action movies for the new series would be Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik. The characters reminded audiences of what's so great about Jim Carrey. Man, they talked a lot about Jim Carrey in this movie. I mean, I, obviously, I know that he carried a movie, but seriously, like, there's more to the franchise than just Eggman. I mean, look at how Marvel is diversifying their TV shows with characters who you never thought would get their own spotlight, like Hawkeye or Wonder and Vision. But anyway, this is an interesting thing to talk about because there have been rumors before and even them expressing interest in expanding the the cinematic universe of Sonic, SCU, I don't know what we're going to be calling it, but they've talked about it, like, there was, like, talks of Robotnik getting a spin-off at some point, there was so many situations where some shit like this was going to happen, and I could see it being done as a TV show instead of a movie, I don't know, to save money or whatever, I don't think Jim Carrey would be in this if it really was just a TV show and not a movie, I feel like they're going to keep him for the big budget shit, but if they wanted to, like, explore Knuckles' lore and his backstory, maybe they'll do it for something like that, I don't know, you have to remember that, when they do TV shows, sometimes they cut corners to save money. Like, for example, some of you may remember a movie named Osmosis Jones. And they had popular stars in the movie, like Chris Rock, Lawrence Fishburne, Brandy, William Shatner. And they later turned that into a cartoon TV show on Cartoon Network. And of course, they didn't keep the same cast from the movie. Even though they were like cartoon characters, it was like a live action mix of cartoon. It was, it was both. So they didn't actually keep the voices. Like, they got someone else to replace Chris Rock's voice. They basically just got people that were more affordable so it's very likely that even if they made a tv show they might just get you know similar sounding voice actors for sonic or knuckles or tails or whoever just to keep the thing going without having to pay the big boy bucks for jim carrey idris elba etc 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 and then they can expand the universe i don't think these shows would be dedicated to just sonic because like if it was like sonic as a main character again it just seems like it could be a bit excessive i mean it's live action again like the movie it'll probably have a similar aesthetic to the movie it just seems a bit pointless to be like, we had a Sonic movie, we had a Sonic movie too. Now let's give him a show with the same world and same lore. Like, that would be the time to give us a Knuckles show. That would be the time to give us a Shadow spin-off show. Or even a Tails show if they don't make him a fucking pussy. That would be the time to give us a Robotnik spin-off, which if they get Jim Carrey for that would be pretty lit. But I don't know if they will. I guess if they can justify the price, then maybe he'd get it. If he's going to be a lead character, then I guess maybe. But I used to watch the animated version of The Moss. When, when I was a kid and I didn't even know Jim Carrey played the mask because I didn't watch the movie as a kid it was the funniest thing I mean you just don't know if the movie stars are gonna do the TV shows you know there's that stigma that movies are above TV shows I think TV shows are superior but movies make the bigger bucks I guess so only time will tell on that now again this is not confirmed information so I don't want you getting your hopes up too much but given what I've been saying about Sega for the longest time this is very much up there alley. it's very believable I mean, as I was saying, they know that the games are not carrying the franchise anymore, so they need to double, triple down on the multimedia so they can keep eating off of their blue boy. And if Prime is dropping in 2022 and say this drops in, I don't know, 2023, then they can have like this back and forth on some Aaliyah shit, just like 2022, Prime season one, 2023, this live action show season one, 2024, Sonic movie three, 2025, Prime season two. They could just keep back and forth and everything multimedia packed every year basically the way the games used to be packed every year like we were getting games every year spin-off side game main game like it, the way we were getting content like that in the 2000s that's what they're trying to do now but with the multimedia like just churning them back to back like if you're a marvel fan like this year you have been fed like you have been fed movies show the next show the next movie like i've been following this year i mean i didn't watch what if but i've been watching everything else marvel's put out pretty much this year i still need to to watch Eternals but the point is they are trying to create that extreme condensation of content that we got with the games but with the media that's actually working for them right now because this is easier than you know figuring out how to make the games good again so whatever makes the money to me this is very believable because it's right up the alley of what I think they've been trying to do for a long time so I am not surprised in the slightest if this does come true but again take this with a pinch of salt it's not any confirmed piece of information it could have been an idea that got shelved or something 
something like that or it could be in the early stages we don't know but we'll have to monitor over the coming years i would say months but i don't know it could be longer than that to see what happens i mean no matter what happens sonic's gonna be fine man we're doing great we're eating good we just got sonic the hedgehog scented candles the other day like we are <laughs> Oh god. As much as I'm against the way they hoe out the franchise to everything, instead of, you know, making great games, I can only hope that this show is of good quality if it is real. And I guess if it's not being made by Sonic Team, then they've obviously got a good chance. But yeah man, let me know what you guys think about this rumor. Do you think they are working on another Sonic TV show, this time live action, this time by the Paramount team, to go on Paramount Plus' streaming service? Do you think this is bullshit? Do you think it's going to be a spin-off of other characters, or do you think it's going to be sonic again and what do you think about this little sonic origins update do you think it's a little sus that they've trademarked the thing a little late let me hear your conspiracies okay but yeah man make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell make sure to check out the non-sonic channel the link will be in the description but that's all i have to say right now so do me out